This program is a great starting point. Uh, the skills that you're going to learn and the evolution that's going to take place in you as a photographer will be incredible in these two years. Both with the foundation year and the photography curriculum, you will be a different person when you come out of here. It's wonderful to see it happen. Uh, more confident, more successful, ready to go out there and, and make images. You're going to be taking drawing classes, which may seem a little scary in the beginning, but they're actually about learning to see. And I think that's super important. It becomes incredibly relevant when you're using a camera. You'll be able to see, to see light, to understand light and shadow. You're taking 2D design, taking 3D design, 4D uh, as well, which gets you into video. Photo one, we're learning about the tools. We're learning about the camera, how it works, and how you can use that camera and the tools that, that it has, how you use that to make an image that represents your ideas, that uh, can communicate effectively for you. You have to know how that tool works, and different settings are gonna give you different types of images. And so understanding how that works is very important, but also, it's not just the technical, it's also seeing. You're gonna see a lot of different images from a lot of different photographers. We're looking at photographers' work every week. We're looking at your work every week. We're talking about the different ways that photographers use the medium to uh, express themselves. It's black and white, and it's understanding seeing, it's understanding the tools, and how the camera alters the world, what the difference between a photograph and real life is, if that makes sense. How the camera sees. So that's photo one. Photo two becomes more personal. It is where we start to investigate different concepts in photography, things that uh, historically have occurred in photography and how those might relate to your work, uh, your ideas. You're doing a lot more reading about photography and different ideas. You're responding to those and you're trying to place your work in relation to those. You're not copying those. You're doing your own work. You're coming up with your own ideas. You're going out shooting your own images. And we're just trying to relate them in some way to these different concepts that would have been brought up historically. Then in color photography, everything changes in, in a way. You're, you're seeing things in color. Black and white deals a lot more with shape and form and, and uh, color, you've got this whole other element with color. It can be a, a real challenge to work with that, but with different assignments that explore different types of color in photography and seeing lots of examples of other photographers' work, everyone finds their way through color and uh, we get some really great images. By then you've had a couple semesters of photography already, you're applying all of that to this class. It's a really fun capstone class. Digital editing. Digital editing also happens in your third semester. You're going to be learning Lightroom, you're going to be learning Bridge, you're going to be learning Photoshop, exploring different workflows and becoming comfortable with those tools as they will be part of your future. Studio lighting also happens in your last semester. Uh, studio lighting is going to be more specific in using light modifiers and in the studio. Not so much on location, though there is some on location in that class as well. So if you're interested in photography, you want to have a career in photography, I think this is a great starting point. <music>